Good day and thank you for checking out the ACS Library. My name is Kyle and I aim to help you prepare for the private pilot checkride for free in just 5 minutes a day. In today's video, we will discuss how to find airspeed limitations for the Piper Archer. The V speeds we are going to identify are VNE, never exceed speed, VNO, maximum normal operating speed or maximum structural cruising speed, VA, maneuvering speed, VFE, maximum flap extension speed, Normally, this is also the maximum flap operating speed in trainer aircraft. VS, stall speed in the clean configuration. VSO, stall speed in the landing configuration. VY, best rate of climb. VX, best angle of climb. And VG, best glide speed. We'll find these V speeds in our aircraft's POH. Beginning in section two, limitations, we should look in the table of contents for the airspeed limitations and airspeed indicator markings pages. Let's start with the airspeed limitations page. We should refer to the indicated airspeed as we will rarely know our exact calibrated airspeed in flight. Our never exceed speed is 154 knots indicated. Our maximum normal operating speed is 125 knots. Our maneuvering speed is dependent on weight. It requires more speed to disturb a heavier aircraft's state of flight. Let's assume we plan to fly around near max weight. We expect a maneuvering speed of about 113 knots. Above this speed, full deflection of control surfaces may overstress the aircraft. The maximum flap extended speed and maximum flaps operation speed are both 102 knots. Moving on to the airspeed indicator markings page. As long as we know how to read an ASI, we can find some valuable information here. The red line depicts VNE, or the speed we should never exceed regardless of conditions. The yellow arc depicts the caution range. As a rule of thumb, normal operation in the yellow arc should be avoided, especially in the presence of any turbulence. The green arc depicts normal operating range without the flaps extended. The lower value depicts a VS or clean configuration stall speed of 55 knots. Below that, we can expect aircraft control to suffer or become non-existent. The upper value is our max structural cruising speed. Above that, we risk structural damage unless operating in smooth air. The white arc depicts the full flap operating range. The lower limit depicts a VSO or full flap stall speed of 49 knots. The upper limit shows max flap operating speed. Above this value, we risk structural damage to the flaps. These are the V speeds we can identify in section 2. Section 4 will give us a couple more of our V speeds. Look for the air speeds for safe operation page. Here, we can find our VY or best rate of climb of 76 knots. The best rate of climb speed is the speed that will give us the greatest increase in altitude per unit time. Underneath this, we can find our VX or best angle of climb of 64 knots. This speed would give us the greatest increase in altitude per unit distance traveled. VY is what we aim for when we want to climb to 11,000 feet in the shortest amount of time. VX is what we aim for during short field takeoffs. At the bottom of this page, we can also find our maximum demonstrated crosswind component of 17 knots. This is not a legal limit, it simply means these were the highest conditions under which safe operation was demonstrated during aircraft certification testing. Our final V-speed is found in section 5 of the POH on the glide range chart. With the flaps up at max weight, we expect a best glide speed of 76 knots. In addition to all these V-speeds, some recommended maneuver entry speeds are depicted in section 2 of the POH. The V-speeds should be memorized for the aircraft you plan to perform flight training in. This concludes today's video covering how to find V-speeds for the Piper Archer. As always, thank you so much for checking out the ACS library. If you've learned something from today's video, I hope that you might like or share it. If you're interested in seeing more, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to the right of that to enable notifications. Questions and feedback are always welcome in the comments section. Thanks again and safe flying.